Hi YouTube. Hi, happy Thursday everyone. Um, today I am going to be doing my challenge yourself. Um, I, this is kind of like a little video that I do. I think this is going to be my fourth time doing it. Um, some of you guys watch it, some of you guys don't, but I enjoy doing them. So today, um, challenge yourself is going to be challenge yourself to share your testimony with someone and to not allow someone to be spiritually ignorant for the rest of the week. Um, those, so those are your two um, things I'm going to do two instead of one. I'm just going to be challenge yourself to share your testimony with someone and not to allow someone to be spiritually ignorant um, because um, being spiritually ignorant is a really is a excuse because we have a Bible. We have a book of instructions on to prevent us from being spiritually ignorant as Christians. And if you know the word, share the word. Because the word is the same that it was yesterday, today, and forevermore. So I want to encourage you guys and challenge you guys to share the word with someone else. And I always love to share my testimony um, because that's my truth. That is my truth and proof that the Lord loves me, that he works with me, and he, he, he holds me and takes time with me when no one else wants to or is too busy to. So share your testimony, you guys, with someone. Um, I was inspired by two um, things this week. One was True Lovely Red. She sent me a wonderful video of a young woman, um, and I'll put her uh, name in the sidebar on the side, um, up explaining how things, when things don't go as planned, and things, she stated that things don't go as planned because Jesus uh, intercepts, Jesus wants things to go a little bit different sometimes than what we plan them because God has a sense of humor. <laughs> so he has a purpose for everything and the way we plan them is just not. And she was explaining how just don't rush them. Um, let things flow the way they are. Um, and one thing that touched my heart about it is because she was saying how um, she gets emotional. I don't believe that we are emotional um, when it comes to how um, God has moved in our life. Um, anytime, any moment, anywhere, um, doesn't matter who's watching, I'm radical for Christ. Um, I will shout in public, I will cry in my car, I will cry in the middle of a grocery store. Whenever I know that that the Lord is present and that he has just touched me um, or, or something reminds me of what I came from and been delivered from, it makes me weep um, because the Lord is so good. He is an awesome God. Um, I can't speak for everyone else's God, um, but I know the Lord that Christians and friends and family that's in my life serve that he's an awesome God and the Lord has brought me from the ditches to concrete to milk and honey if I can say it like that and I am so thankful um, that I have a wonderful father that I can fall and get back up and he loves me no matter what. Um, I think that is awesome. You, 
I can't even really get that um, 100% out of my own father and he loves me dearly and my father has been there from day one <clears throat> but I know that the Lord has been there and he has walked through every step of the way with me um, just know if you don't have you don't have your ears turned on he will keep and going he keep going and going and going until you actually turn your ears on for him to um, put the word in style in you because the word you will receive the word you will receive it you will receive the revelations you will receive all that because he's going to give it to you so that's that and my second i know i'm running a little bit but my second one is comes from matthew 4 14 and it says that the sower sows the word, and these are the ones by the wayside where the word is sown. When they heard, Satan comes and merely and takes away the word that was sown in their heart. So, what this is saying is that you want the word installed. It lives in you. Reach a word. Eat off your word. Think off your word. Be productive every day in your word. And share the word. Because we constantly need to be reminded and just manifesting in the word. Because Satan wants to steal. He wants to steal the word from us. So just taking your Bible to church with you every Sunday and Wednesday and leaving it on your tape side and have it in your car and have it in your purse and you never open it. And that means that you give Satan the opportunity to steal it from you. So you want to make sure that you are living constantly and feeding your flesh of the work. So you guys, your challenge for the rest of the week and going into next week will be challenge yourself to share your testimony with someone and not to allow someone to be spiritually ignorant for the rest of the week. Um, and we definitely won't want that. We want to share the word. We want to continue um, to manifest in the word. So that's you guys' challenge for the rest of the week. I love you. And have a wonderful um, weekend if I don't get to talk to you guys. Bye.